Hello collective and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here to do a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you okay. Um, you know the drill just take what does resonate toss out the rest right. Don't try to force it. And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Uh, everything. Thank you for the everything because you guys are absolutely amazing. Um, honestly, you know, I look through these comments and there's really, there's, there's, there's really never anything negative. And I'm so appreciative of all of you guys for your kindness, you know? So thank you so much just for being freaking nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks for being nice, man. All right, so, and I love my peeps out here, guys. You know that. You know that. Okay, double in reverse. Jeez. Number one, I feel like something's coming to an end here, but um, I kind of get the feeling like somebody is in denial about it. I don't know why. So there's this Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like there's a, a commitment coming to an end and someone's in denial. Like they're trying to be strong. Um, they, yeah. I feel like they're trying to keep something a secret. They are totally in their mind about this. Stressed out, uber stressed out over a King of Pentacles. Um, you could be the high priestess out here, but what I'm really feeling like is, is that something is coming, a toxic situation is coming to an end. And somebody, there's a queen of, queen of Pentacles here, the one who has been committed in this situation. They're trying to keep it a secret. That's the feeling that I'm getting here while they go through all of this mental entrapment obsession they'd like like literally can't stop thinking about this they could be um this could be coming to an end with the king of pentacles a possible earth sign taurus virgo capricorn um i got capricorn out here heavy i've got cancer out here taurus aries leo um somebody out here could be a leo so whoever's watching this, what flipped up in the deck, yeah, oh man. It's like they don't want people to talk about this. They don't want the community to know that this is coming to an end. They don't want anybody to know it. It's like they're trying to keep up this fake facade or they're in denial. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like these two are committed, but there's a split. Um, could be a Gemini. Gemini energy, Sag um, sorry, Scorpio. Yeah, this is coming to an end, but they don't want anybody to know. They don't want any gossip. They don't want any, um, they may be talking to some friends, but what I'm seeing here is they do not want anyone talking about this. It's almost like they're embarrassed. And they feel kind of embarrassed, like, no, no, this, this, this can't be over. And then they're like, uh, well, I need to keep this a secret. How do I keep this a secret? How do I stop people from talking about it? They're feeling embarrassed is the feeling that I'm getting. Clarify this. Temperance is out here. I, I feel like this, this, uh, whoever this person is leaving the situation, they're going to say something. They're going to say something. I feel like they're being honest about it. But this, uh, this, whoever this queen is that's been in a commitment, they do not want the community to know. I feel like there could be somebody here wanting to come and talk to an earth angel too. Yeah, I feel like this was all about money also. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, they could have been living beyond their means or this this King of Pentacles just supported this Queen of Pentacles here. There could even be a divorce, a split, right? And there could be some kind of judgment here. Um, 
in favor of the Queen of Pentacles leaving this masculine out in the cold. I feel like that's what this masculine is thinking about. Oh, please don't let me lose all of my money in a divorce case. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, please don't let me lose all my money in a divorce case. That's really what I'm thinking about or what I'm feeling like here. Because they know that I feel like there's going to be some kind of divorce here and this masculine's worried about, you know, alimony, child support, losing it all. I feel like they're, they may be out in the cold. They could, somebody could have to move suddenly, um, you know, especially if this is a commitment in, in a home situation. They're gonna, somebody's going to have to move, maybe lose a home, be out in the cold be wandering around with no money yeah this is a masculine thinking about a divorce um yeah this is i feel like it's a karmic situation that's coming to an end here with the devil in reverse and there's a karmic here this queen of pentacles who's all about money and being provided for they don't want the secret out that it's over like we've got, they want to keep it a secret and they don't want people talking about it all over this reading. And all this King of Pentacles can think about is please don't let me lose all of my money. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. I feel like this person, uh, yeah, they're, they're, I feel like they're in love with you, collective, but they're making a decision here when it comes to love. Um... Yeah, ooh, I feel like this person, oh boy, but they're having a hard time confronting you. I feel like there's a person here, this masculine, they're thinking about loss of their finances, their home, their property, whatever it is that's going to put them out in the cold with this divorce. I feel like it's a divorce, okay? A split. Um, they may even have to pay off this, if it's not a divorce, they could owe money to this queen of pentacles or be trying to give them money or something they're praying that they don't lose all of their money but it looks like they will and i feel like um they're in love with you but they've been keeping it hidden now they've been watching you from afar losing sleep at night okay it tells me that right here um, their eyes are so black, dark, sunken, all they can do is focus on you. You're focusing on messages you get from the divine, so you're on a divine, yeah, you're on a divine path here, a spiritual path. So you're, you're getting your directions from the messages you're getting from God. And it's making you very knowledgeable, very abundant, and you've always, in this situation, you've always been a big temptation for this person. They, they haven't been able to shake this connection. They can't shake it, you know. Um, not a twin flame. They can't forget about you. The, the, more you, you, the more distance between you, the more this person obsesses. Okay, and they, they've, they've realized here um, that this is a spiritual connection, I feel, with this big cup and that they're in love with you. That could be one of the reasons why this is coming to an end because this person... You know, if you're going to have a relationship with one person, you can't bring somebody else into the relationship and think that everything is going to work out okay. And I feel like whether you were in this relationship or not, you know, whether you were paying attention to this or not, I feel like you haven't been a part of it. But still, this person, by watching you nonstop, thinking about you nonstop, having all this love for you, um... They, they can't invest wholeheartedly into somebody else. You know what I mean? And that's one of the reasons that this came crumbling down. You were a reason, even though you weren't involved. Does that make sense? And so I feel like you're moving forward from this, or this could be your person coming towards you. Um, somebody here is moving forward really fast. Um... And I feel like it's your person. You could be dealing with um, a water sign, a cancer. But yeah, they want to build something solid here with you. You're you're a star to them. You're you've been a guide through this. Maybe that's why they're listening. You're getting the messages. 
you're putting it out there in the public eye, helping to guide other people through this turmoil and heartache and whatever. Um, you're just, you're out here doing something with love. And this person's been paying attention to you this whole time. You just didn't know, well, you knew it from tarot and your intuition. But yeah, they've been focused on you this whole time. And you're easy to see if you're putting yourself out there in the public eye. So um, they've been watching you, man. I feel now that this person wants to take some kind of action towards you. They've been picking up on those messages too. Um, you know, and I feel like you've been a guide for this person. I feel like you've been a guide for this person and they really have a lot of passion for you. Um, this is, this could be somebody very flashy. Okay. Somebody who is very good looking, somebody who may do impulsive things or they just, they're going to take action. What I'm, it doesn't matter what sign they are. This is somebody who, what I'm feeling is they've got a huge passion for you and they want to come towards you very passionately, okay? Because they really want to reunite. They want to get back together, um, but they're scared. They're afraid. They're going to have to confront their player ways. They're going to have to confront um, everything that they did to you, which is, seems to be a lot. There's a lot that they did. And uh, they're going to have to come and actually talk to a star. How do, and and I'm, all of a sudden I'm hearing, how do you talk to an angel, right? Yeah. How do you hold her close to where you are, right? How do you talk to an angel? It's like trying to catch a, is it a, a shooting star or a falling star? It's like trying to catch a fallen star. Yeah, a star. So they want to catch you now, but they don't know how to talk to you. How do you talk to an angel, right? Um, yeah, and the, meanwhile, I feel like there's this karmic individual is, um, you know, because they're kind of going nutty here, right? They really are. They could be feeling very, uh, they, they could want revenge. They could want, they just want to reverse this. Thing. How can they keep this masculine there? All right. I feel like it's about money and support, but yet it's for this karmic individual, it's also about how the public sees them. Okay. How they see them. And uh, this person, they're, I feel like they're, they're getting to the point where they're watching, they're stalking, they're watching this person walk away from their commitment. Yeah, so this this masculine is afraid to confront you because they know that they're being watched by this karmic that they're splitting from, okay? They know they um, uh, manipulated you as well. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I've got Gemini out here. You could be an Aquarius, a Cancer, maybe. Leo, I don't know. Um, but yeah, look, okay, yeah, I feel like this person was all up in their ego, they came in, they played you, they, and they, they, uh, used you, and then they left and abandoned you, okay, and I feel like, um, they, here's the thing, I, with the emperor and the empress here, I'm getting the feet, this is a power couple, and you're already building something, you're already building an empire for yourself, I feel like this person didn't realize it at the time, but you were their exact match, and you guys could have built empires together. That's why they, oh, they didn't, they didn't see that in you. They fooled themselves, and now they're feeling like um, really defeated here. Like, there's a lot of pain because they realize now that they lost a freaking empress star. And you're extremely abundant, very intuitive, very knowledgeable. You've leveled up in your life. They, you're somebody that this person knows they can build something solid with if they were to be able to come in and reunite. Um, but yeah, now they feel like they kind of betrayed themselves here. They're going through a really, they're in a lot of pain because they know what they did to you and all they could have built with you.
okay all they could have built with you I, I feel like this person took advantage of you and they they made a decision to stay with this karmic individual in some kind of commitment okay they didn't think that uh, you had a lot to offer okay and the reason I'm saying that is because of these little patches here on your blanket they went to give to someone else while they left you empty-handed because they they thought that this choice over here had more or was in better shape or whatever it is you that little patch there tells me a lot um and that's why they they turned their nose up at you and they, they you know this is the the empress feels i i'm getting the feeling like they thought they could come in and play you because you're a huge temptation for this person but they thought they could get away with with just ghosting you and um and using you okay they thought they would just get away with it because the emperor really they kind of live by their own rules out of ego okay and yeah i th that's why you didn't hear from this person they were all up in their ego and they th they thought they could pretty much do whatever they wanted seriously that's the feeling that i'm getting Little did they know, though, that you're their match. You guys, you're their twin flame soulmate. And they could have they could have built an empire with you, but since they didn't show up for you, right, you built it on your own. You built this empire on your own. And now they're like, oh, I totally screwed up, okay? I totally screwed up. Um, yeah. This is how they're feeling now, how, and that's why they're standing over here like, how do I approach the collective now after all that I've done? How do I come towards them now? I really, I have to take action, otherwise I'm going to lose this star, this empress. I've got to take action. They've got a fire lit under their butt. You know, they want to, it's like they're antsy, but they still, they're like, how do I do this? How do I pull this off, right? How do I pull this off? How do I, after all the sabotage, possibly even laughing about you, you and your pain behind your back? It's ridiculous. Now this person wants to come back in, but they have no idea how. And they're really freaking butt hurt right now. They are. They're kicking rocks. They're pouty. You know, because they didn't actually get their way. Okay, they didn't get their way. They kind of lost it all. Right? They, they're they losing a situation that didn't have love in it in the first place. It was, I feel like it was about money. At least at this stage in the game, it turned out to be about financial support or something. And sorry about that. Yeah, they... um. They didn't realize they were turning their nose up at a, at a true blessing here. You could have even been somebody that they prayed about in the past, like, I just want to be loved, but I'm really feeling like they're... They're praying they don't lose their money. They're wondering how to, how to pull this off with you after them being in their ego, controlling the situation, thinking they could just do whatever they want because they're above universal law no no yeah they missed out on a blessing here i feel like this person is just sitting here maybe even isolating themselves a little bit dealing with the pain okay and thinking about all they lost here thinking about everything that they lost they're gonna have to rebuild their finances and this, I feel like they're realizing, too, that this could be a contracted soulmate connection. And that's why they can't stop thinking about this. You are going to be the one that, you're always going to be the one that got away from this person. I feel like they've realized just where their ego got them. Their ego, their control, thinking that, that they didn't have to treat people decently. Yeah, see, they know. They know. They know all of this. They know who you are. They know what you are to them. They know that you're out here building an empire on your own without them. And they have no idea how to come forward, but they, they realize now that they, they, I feel like they made a bad decision. Now they know who it is that they want. 
Okay, they want this new beginning with you. This is somebody who wants to decide on you. They want to choose you now. Okay. Yeah, they're coming forward to talk. Yeah, I'm telling you, they want to take a leap of faith towards you. They're feeling like a fool. They're, you made this emperor feel like a complete fool. Actually, you didn't do it. They did it to themselves. But now they want their wish fulfillment. Now they want to come and give you an apology. Now they want to come in and give you the justice that and the and the um, and the uh, communication that you deserve and balance these scales out. Now, but I feel like how does the collective feel about this? I I feel like you're just focused on you and working and building your your empire that's really the feeling that i'm getting here how does the collective feel about this how does the collective hold on i gotta change decks they said just get, get us a new deck <laughs> all right yeah you know if you get in this boat with this person now, they're just going to try to get, this is, must be somebody who just likes to control. I, I, you know, I feel like, one, you're moving forward to calmer waters, okay? You don't want the burdens of this anymore. But two, you know if you get in this boat with them, you're going to be face planted in all of these burdens all over again because this person just likes to have control and go where they want. You do know that um, this could have ended up very, very happy, okay? You know that. You may be moving forward here still thinking about that. But you're moving forward. You're moving forward. And I feel like your person is being left behind. Stressed out, sleepless nights. Yeah, that's the Emperor's energy. I'm telling you. That's this person. Okay, same guy, girl, doesn't matter, doesn't have to be. And look, right after that, they want to come forward. I'm getting the same cards, guys, and apologize to you. Look, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, the lovers, we, the lovers. They know that you're the one for them, and they cannot shake this connection. They need to come in and apologize. I feel like they know, though, also with the, all of these are all painful thoughts. And this person is thinking, okay, I've got to tell the collective this, 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 all the things that they did, right? And, uh, and they, may, they may realize with all the things that they did to you, the ways that they treated you, they know that this apology is like a half-assed apology. It took too long to come in. They did too much damage. And honestly, I, I will tell you the truth here, you guys, with the emperor out here and the player card, this person didn't care how you felt when they made a, de a decision to walk away. They didn't care. But now they do. Oh, now... They not only care about how they treated you, but this person's falling apart over it. They're really, really stressed out, like shaking kind of stressed out because they know they have to come and confront you and you're moving forward. You're moving on. You're all healed here. Some of you could be looking back just to see if this person's coming or not. If you're watching tarot card readings, that's kind of this feeling. Just kind of seeing what, you know, what the energy is. But you're stepping into a whole new cycle in the public eye. Okay, you're gorgeous. Some of you could have just, like, colored your hair or got, like, red streaks in your hair. That's a confirmation for someone. You're extremely intuitive. Yeah, you're saying goodbye to this. And you, you have this, uh, your intuition is telling you, too, that this could have led to happiness because you now know um, that this is probably your, your twin flame, right? They're just now realizing that, but still, after learning all the lessons and passing the test from the last cycle, you're ready to move on and 
really find your true happiness. I just feel like you're setting yourself free from this. I feel like you're setting yourself free from it. From thinking about it, from worrying about it. I think you're just setting yourself free from this person. And they can feel that. They can feel that. Yeah. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates, okay? This your mask this masculine here, they they're about to come and take a, a step towards you even though they know that this is an an apology just isn't enough for how they damaged the situation, how they treated you, okay? But they are going to be coming forward here to give you this cup of love. Feeling like a fool and being kind of scared of what your reaction is going to be like, but they're coming forward. Um, right now, though, this person is falling apart. They're stressing out in bed. They're looking at their own freaking bad behavior and realizing how much of a fool they were. Yeah, that's confirmation. Anyway, guys, listen, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel, right? Help me grow um, if you like this, this uh, vibe and it's resonating with you, right? And until next time, Collective, take care of you and peace out.